Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video will be a guide on how to use Service Titan. I'm going to walk you through the process of how to make the most out of Service Titan's features, focus on the most practical steps like scheduling jobs and so on so that you can see exactly how to operate the software on a daily basis. I'm also going to go over some pros and cons or reasons to choose Service Titan towards the end. So let's go ahead and get started. So getting started to set up your own Service Titan account, you would want to visit servicetitan.com and then onto their homepage, you will see a small section right here where you can enter your own email to get your free demo. You will be asked afterwards to provide your own company information such as a business type, HVAC, plumbing, electrical and so on and the number of technicians that you are going to have. Once Service Titan sets up your account, you will receive your login credentials. So once you have your own free demo account, you would want to head over to the dashboard via your web browser. The first time that you log in, you might be guided through a basic setup wizard where you can define your business name, address, phone numbers, and any other essential information. Keep in mind that Service Titan charges based on the number of technicians, office staff are typically free, but each field tech is a paid user. When you land on your dashboard, you want to define your business units. You can typically do that by navigating to the settings, so in the left-hand menu or the top right gear icon, depending on your version, you want to go to the settings and then business units. If you have, for example, an installation department, a maintenance department, and a service one, you will set each one up as a business unit. You can assign distinct colors so that you can easily see which jobs belong to which department on your dispatch board. Keeping each one of the units separate helps you generate accurate reports later, that's why it's really good. You'll be able to see the revenue, costs, and job counts per department. Next up, in Service Titan, you will see columns for each technician or each department if set that way along with time slots. You can choose a one day, three day, or weekly view. If you have many jobs in one day, then the one day or three day view often provides better visibility. Jobs assigned to a specific business unit typically show up in the color associated with that unit. So keep that color coding in mind. You can use the map tab if available in your version to see technicians locations, making it easier to dispatch someone who's geographically close to a new job. Now you can also book a job from the call screen. So one main feature is the call screen, which might appear as a phone icon or a calls button. This is where inbound calls are logged. If the caller is new, you can click add a new customer and fill out details like name, address, phone number, and email. Common job types could be AC repair, plumbing inspection, electric heat repair, etc. If you are an HVAC business, you might see job types like AC repair, heating repair, maintenance, installation, and so on. After that, you can assign to department so you can select the relevant business unit. For example, if it's a maintenance job, you can easily pick the maintenance department. The system also shows you open slots so you can assign a time based on technician availability. And once you click book job, you will see it pop up on the schedule board. The assigned technician will also see it on their mobile device if they are logged into the Service Titan mobile application. Now you may use the drag and the drop on the dispatch board. So for rescheduling, if a customer calls to change their appointment, you can simply drag the job from one time slot to another. You can also change the technicians by dragging the job to a different technician's column if the original tech is unavailable. As for the notifications, Service Titan can optionally send SMS or email confirmations to customers when you schedule or reschedule their appointments. As for the technicians and employee management, you may add employees. So you may go to the settings, people or employees, and then you will see a list of all your current employees, field techs, and office staff. Fill in their name, role, so technician or CSR or manager, phone number, and email. For the licenses or the certifications, if your business requires certain certificates or licensing, you can record them here to keep everything in one system. And for the permissions, you can decide if they have admin access, dispatch access, or field tech only access. You may also track timesheets and availability. So for the timesheets module, technicians can clock in and out via the Service Titan mobile app. So the system tracks their hours. As for the schedules, you can define each technician's standard availability. For example, Monday to Friday, 8 to 5, to prevent accidental overbooking. For the vacation or the leave notice, you can mark when a tech is off and the system will show them as unavailable on the dispatch board. The timesheet data can integrate with payroll or accounting tools, making it easier to handle paychecks. As for the mobile application, techs can install Service Titan Mobile on their phones or tablets. They can use their assigned credentials to log in, and then once they are logged, they will see their schedule for the day. For each job, a tech can see the customer's contact information, the job type, any special instructions, and notes from the CSR. Now, techs arrive when they reach the job site, then complete or close out the job once they are done. 
Now, some versions of Service Titan Mobile let techs present estimates on site, collect signatures, and process payments right from their device. As for adding photos, techs can snap photos of equipment or problem areas before and after a repair. They can leave additional details about repairs performed or any follow-up needed, which your office staff can view in real time. And finally, techs can capture the customer's signature on a digital invoice, automatically syncing with your accounting system. We also have some options for marketing and campaign tracking. So for the phone numbers and the call tracking, if you opt to use Service Titan's phone integration, you can assign multiple local phone numbers, one for each advertising campaign. And then when a customer calls a specific number, Service Titan logs the campaign source. For instance, if you put a phone number in a Google ad, calls to that number automatically get tagged as Google ads. Additionally, keep in mind that all inbound calls can be recorded if you enable that setting. This helps with quality assurance and training. If you want to set up a marketing campaign, you want to navigate to settings and then marketing. Create new campaigns, naming them after your marketing channel, for example, radio ad, August, or Facebook ads, and so on and so forth. You may also pick a dedicated phone number for that campaign. Later on, you can pull a marketing campaign report to see how many calls you've received, how many turned into book jobs, and how many turned into sales. So for the reporting, and the analytics, we've got different types of reports. You will get reports on technician performance so you can track each tech's average ticket, total sales, or conversion rates. You also get job reports to see how many calls turned into jobs, job durations, and revenue per job type. And for the department or business unit reports, you can evaluate how your maintenance versus installation versus service departments are performing. You may also check how many leads you got from each campaign phone number, how many closed, and total revenue from that channel. If you want to generate a new report, in the main menu, you click Reports, and then you pick a category, for example, categories include technician, calls, membership, or marketing, and then you check the date ranges, specific departments, or job types, export as Excel or CSV, or simply save the report template for a quick access next time. You can also automate the whole reports, so in the automated email, Service Titan can email you or manage daily or weekly with key metrics, you can add relevant staff emails so that they can receive the same report without manually running it, and you typically set them up to send early in the morning or after business hours so that you can start the next day with fresh data. Next up, I want to touch on the pros, cons, and other considerations for this tool. For the pros, as you've seen from this video, they have comprehensive platforms, so it handles scheduling, dispatching, job booking, invoicing, and marketing in one. We have robust reporting as you get detailed analytics on technician performance, marketing ROI, and departmental revenue. It's also mobile friendly as techs can manage jobs and invoices from anywhere. And we have the phone integration with automatic call tracking that helps you see the effectiveness of each advertising channel. As for the cons, the number one on here we have cost as it is typically more expensive than competitors charging per technician. Additionally, even if you wanted to request a demo and you are a small business, they may not even grant you that and instead offer you a different tool. We also have the inventory limitations as it lacks sophisticated warehouse or truck level inventory tracking, and there is some learning curve involved, so you should be aware of that. This is not exactly a horrible thing, but it is something to be considered. Since the platform is feature rich, new users might need some extra time and academy courses even to master everything. But who is it best suited for? I would say Service Titan is best suited for mid sized to large contractors, HVAC, plumbing, electrical, or any other field service with multiple technicians. Also, companies with active call centers. So if you rely heavily on phone scheduling and want call tracking, the phone integration is a big plus. If you are migrating from another software or from manual scheduling, plan a gradual onboarding. I highly recommend that you train your office staff and technicians step by step. You may lean on Service Titan's success team calls to speed up the learning curve. Definitely keep an eye on your releases or updates as Service Titan frequently adds refinements. Thanks so much for watching this video. Definitely let us know if you found it to be helpful and informative to watch by giving us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.